Hello everyone, my name is Michael SK and welcome back to 9 episode 3. The last episode, or the last video sure was a, uh, a crazy one, as the real Rig Veda has formed, as Yoichi has revealed himself to be the true mastermind behind everything. The one pulling ghosts strings in a way, and actually being the one that is turning people into stone. He is the evil eye user. And he kind of just flat out said it. He revealed it to us right then and there. And uh, Commander, or Takamine, also wasn't completely useless in combat. He actually showed that, yeah, he can he can do some damage. So they are quite the, uh, quite the squad all of a sudden. A very uh, formidable foe. Now, I don't know what necessarily we need to do, but it looks like we're finally having... A, uh, a big old meeting here now that we're done being a double agent which I feel like we probably could have gone a little bit further with the whole double agent shtick but I guess Takamine wasn't buying any of it contrary to popular beliefs so maybe it would be all for nothing but it was fun while it lasted Yuki says despondently as our drinks arrive in all honesty we should probably all have gone straight home to rest but none of us could put what happened to the back of our minds so easily. We couldn't bring ourselves to go home just like that, so we decided to go somewhere to talk, even though we all know that discussing the situation won't help. Yeah, he's got some he's got some stuff going on. Now, I don't really remember what happens necessarily at the end of episode 2. I don't remember Yuki's powers. And I don't remember if we saw anything out of Takamine. Well, he can do a very similar stigma with his eye, if I remember correctly. So, yeah. I rubbed my stomach. His punch left a bruise. I checked earlier. Yeah, everybody was in a state of underestimating who we were going up against. Everyone's guard was just simply down. Okay, he can hit other in other places, honestly. Gotta love the old solar plexus hit. You know, it's not a visual novel with fighting scenes or fighting moments if there isn't an attack against the solar plexus. No, we, we have some bruises. We at least have bruises, so we, we took some HP damage too. Yeah, he, he did throw her, honestly. It was like some fucking wrestling shit. The what? From what? Uh, yes. Who's? Yeah, I actually have no fucking idea what the fuck they're talking about. They kind of went into their own tangent here. Oh, okay, there we go. あ、アニメ的な。はい、そうです。急にすみません。魔人流古武術はその登場人物三日月深夜が用いる武術。I don't want to say that's not impossible. I think there is like 
not necessarily a, a, a huge sense of realism in a lot of anime, but there are some that capture proper movement, proper skills. Uh, so I, I, I guess, yeah, I mean, you could technically learn martial arts from an anime if it's the right anime. Probably not best to try and learn anything from a show like Hunter x Hunter or Naruto. Well, they're both, uh, both of these characters here are bound to be otaku. Yeah, I'm, I'm most definitely sure all of a sudden. Also, can I just throw out that Kotsuka is being a lot more, like, social here? ミオの。でも、なんか、うん。圧倒的敗北すぎて実感がない感じ I want to say that I know exactly what she's talking about, but I'm not really sure. I think it's like, whenever I play a game like uh, Elden Ring, and it's like, you just get obliterated in such a way that's like, did that really happen? And you start to wonder, the fuck, what do I do? What can I do? Hopefully it's not a fact where she has to like actually spew all that garbage that she was trying to spew the first time. Hopefully there's just something else that needs to prepare like in the background or something. That does make sense. I was wondering why it was Kosuka's other personality here, but I was wondering why she was just taking the hit. She did not fight back. It wasn't bait. Like, she just said, yeah, do whatever. Basically a waste of time. And if we continue to meddle in their affairs, then, well, we now know what to expect. Or at least that's what they're thinking. I still kind of feel like he just wants to be involved. How is that just that? あたしの能力はゴーストって人に通用しないのはもう確認済みじゃん。ああ。ニーニの力は戦闘向きじゃなくて完全な後方支援タイプじゃん。しかも制御できない。いや、it's <笑> Actually, I didn't even know she was here. She wasn't. Okay. I mean, she was with us in the previous video. Sophie suddenly winks into existence. But compared to usual, she looks... Probably to stay out of sight. Kosuka Senpai and Yuki nod. I've already told them about Sophie and they saw what she looks like earlier. So they're not too surprised by her sudden appearance. After Yoichi and the others left, I asked Sophie to tell them, but... Okay, so I don't know how far this goes back up. It probably won't go... Oh wait, you know what? It does kind of go back up far enough. I want to see a message that Sophie said at the end of the previous video. Let's see if I can find it right here. I would have preferred to keep my promise and stay out of this until the very end, but I'm afraid I can't. You can't win. Okay, that was towards us, but 
I'm trying to pay very close attention to anything that Sophie says that may seem out of the ordinary because I really don't remember the end of episode two. I hate that I don't remember it very well, but I'm pretty sure we saw Sophie with Yoichi. That or it was something else. I, I really don't know. So is Sophie playing both sides? Can we really trust her? I, I don't know. I really don't know. They have a lot. They definitely have quite a fucking few. It's the latter. It is the latter. No, they killed. Yeah, I mean, that's probably what the um... yeah, they probably did the same thing with the person. That turned to stone, Yoichi probably stole whatever artifact that she had. So, yeah, they've they've done some killing. They've done some uh, meddling around with taking others' uh, artifacts for sure. Sophie glances at me. She's already explained that method to me, but I guess that's, that this means she wants me to keep quiet about it. I don't know why, but I, I assume that she has her reasons. I give her a small nod, and then she turns back to the others. It's like they have some inside information of some sort. It's like they know the uh, the properties and information required. That could be the case. あの、アーティファクトの数を考えるとはありえると思います。いくらなんでもジャークすぎない。もしそうだとしたらやばすぎるよ、あの人。あ、ごめん、お兄ちゃん。No, he's evil. He is evil. I I have to say like we had the wrong impression about him for two full fucking episodes. He is uh he is our bad guy. 何が友達のこと悪く言いすぎた。no, go for it. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, I mean, if one of my friends... One of my friends came out as being a criminal, then it's like, well... Well, yeah, like... You're, you're, you're a fucking criminal. <laughs> like, there, there's no other way around it. Jakuda. Yes, sir. Sora gives me a worried look. I meant everything I just said from the bottom of my heart. Of course, there's still a part of me that wants to believe that we can talk this out. Yeah, I mean, you always want to give people the benefit of the doubt, especially if it's a friend. I mean, come on. But I know we're well past that now. We've got to stop Yoichi no matter what it takes. The question is... How? It's frustrating to admit, but I'm powerless. I'm sure everyone else feels just as powerless right now, too. A heavy silence falls over our table. Eventually, Yuki, the only one among us who doesn't look depressed, raises a hand for attention. You could just, you could just call her Sophie. Oh, that's right. Sophie has no fucking interest in Yuki. <laughs> Yeah, there is also the issue where, like, I think there's that translation thing that's constantly going on, too. Like, Sophie is actually speaking a different language, but it gets, like, it's getting instantly translated to us or something like that. And what we're saying to her is getting translated back. Do I have that right? Why is that something I actually remember from a previous episode? But not the important shit. I guess that's something you can just do then. 
なことができるんですかできる力の使用権限を他者にも与えることがね剣族化っていうの Wait Does that mean that Yoichi as Takamine who is older than him sort of as like I don't want to say a pet じゃあさみんなで力をシェアしたら私らも結構いい線いけるんじゃないのニーヤンと私も戦えるよ No, it can't be that easy 方法を教えるつもりはないえ、なんで死にたくないでしょ<笑> Sora falls silent So what Yoichi is doing is extremely dangerous then とにかくお疲れした Yeah, good work おつどうしましたあの、私ちゃっかり同席しちゃってますけど皆さんの仲間にしていただいても Yeah, I think you're fine. I honestly think you're okay. もうそのつもりあ,ありがとうございます Senpai smiles and bows her head. Everyone returns her smile as they welcome her to the group. それじゃあお先に何かあったらいつでも呼んでちょうだい Yeah, yeah. やけに協力的だなマガンのユーザーを特定できたのは今のところこの枝だけさすがに本腰入れるわよ uh-huh 疑問があれば答えてあげるもちろん答えられることだけだけれどわかったありがとう I also doubt all of that shit that she just spouted We know for a fact that she will willingly withhold information from us at times If we do not need to know it. And oh, when do we need to know it? Well, that's her judgment. Sophie vanishes through a tear in space and returns to her own world. There's a shit ton of stuff I still want to know, but for now, I should probably just go home. Alright. What a nice guy we are. これ私の分ああうんちょうどえっと私は後で払いましょう後で行きましょう Everyone gets up and leaves while I take the bill to the register Once I've paid I follow everyone out the door I don't really know what to say here Yeah I mean I'm as stumped as everybody else here It is a really rough situation that we have our hands or that we have on our hands But I'm sure that with the limited effort that we have out of Sophie, whatever that really goes to, I really gotta watch the,、uh, the last video of my previous episode, Let's Play, because I need, a, I need a refresher, and I think that's the most efficient way to get it. I need to see how that all ended. That'll probably give me a better bit of insight going forward. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go いえ、私は徒歩。Oh, okay. うち、家どっちあっち。Why did she, why did she shiver like that? うちと、警戒しようがない。Yeah, we gotta learn about the extent of that teleportation. 確かにな。I'm sure it's not like, oh, they can just teleport wherever. お兄ちゃんも、うちに帰ってきたら、一人暮らしよりマシでしょそうだな。考えとくよ。Shit, even, yeah, I have to admit. We're actually kind of in danger at our apartment because Yoichi knows where we live, I'm pretty goddamn sure. So, if it's、uh, teleportation, as long as you know the location of where you're teleporting, well, guess what, gamers? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess that means we're not fake dating anymore. That was fun while it lasted, I suppose, for like a day. I don't know what that was all about, but okay. I say my farewells and start on the road home. I don't really think about anything in particular, just slowly walk toward my apartment. Occasionally I glance up at the stars twinkling in the distant night sky, but that's about it. After a few minutes, I notice that there's someone following,、uh, there's someone following behind me, excuse me. Their footsteps sound rather hurried. People often go for jogs around here. And it's not rare to see a jogger at this time of night. I don't think it's a jogger. I move to one edge of the sidewalk to give whoever it is a wide berth. To my surprise, however, they come to a halt right behind me. Just as I'm about to look over my shoulder to see who it is, I feel a hand tug on my sleeve. Oh, it's, it's Kosaka. 
There she is. Senpai? Damn, she fucking ran. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that. She puts a hand on her chest and takes a few deep breaths. I notice my gaze is being drawn to her boobs again, and I hurriedly look away. Hey, you know, we're, we're, all, we're all human, and, and titties are titties. I'm kind of amazed that I still have it in me to care about boobs after what happened today. Again, we're a male. A growing one at that. Is there something she wants to talk about? The two of us aimlessly wander the moonlit streets. Neither of us say anything. Wow, we're really accomplishing a lot here. But I'm sure Senpai ran after me because she wants to talk to me about something. The whole time we've been walking, she's been sneaking sidelong glances at me. Eventually, we end up somewhere close to the shrine. It's not until we're on a street devoid of people that Senpai finally breaks the silence. No. No. No, nah, come on, a hit to the solar plexus, the visual novel weak spot. Well, yeah, we got our ass kicked. What do you expect? I finally understand what she's getting at. I don't. It took a second, but I got it. I see. So she's worried about me. Okay, that's what she means. She's worrying about us on the inside here. Yeah, but that's still a fucking year. I mean, a lot of people that I had met back in school, yeah, I had only known them for such a brief amount of time. High school, college, university, like, yeah, you, you meet them so much time ago. So, regardless, they're a friend. And if you spend a lot of time with them, if you bond over stuff, then it doesn't matter how long you've known them. It's just that bond that you've grown with them. And yeah, I mean, if something like this pops up where you learn something so terrible, like if they're just pure fucking evil like Yoichi is, then yeah, it's it's bound to tear you up because it's messing with your head. It's a, I can't believe this sort of situation. I don't really have like a bit of comparison for this. So all I can really do is spew this bullshit that I kind of just spewed, but hopefully it makes sense. Kakadu is, uh... He's kind of doing what I did whenever I was attending university. I definitely had some friends that I was attending... Uh, the campus with I didn't always see them but whenever like a group was heading at, to like hang out or study or some shit it's like yeah you'll get invited or whatever but that was pretty much the extent of it it's like you're still just doing your own thing you go to school you do your thing maybe hang out here and there you've got some friends sure but then that's it so no he's He's kind of doing what I was doing. Especially with how he's living on his own here. Yoichi I wonder if he had like a hidden vendetta. Obviously at the time there were no artifacts or anything, but I wonder what was going through his head. I wonder if there's a way to save him, you know? Well, I think our only fucking friend, honestly. 
あいつはどう思っていたのかわかんないですけどでもいいやつなんですよあいつ I mean, 気が利く友達思いの He put off those good but silly vibes. I mean, it's, it's good to have somebody that can kind of break your mold, like get you away from the stress and a little bit of reality. And I think Yoichi was that. I mean, he was inviting him out to hang out here and there with friends or with a group of guys,、um, always asking to come over or whatever. It was, it was just, you know, wanting to hang out, truly. I don't know if he necessarily had a hidden vendetta, but. He did play the friend role really well. Whether he meant it or not, I mean, he really did. <sighs> yeah, and it's starting to hit him. It's starting to hit Kakadu. <laughs> There's a lump in my throat. At some point, I must have stopped walking because I suddenly find myself standing still. I unclenched the fist I didn't know I was making and looked down at the sweaty palm. <laughs> or at my sweaty palm. He may have like a little bit of that psychopathy going on. Like he's always wondered, how is it to kill a person? I'm just kind of curious. And whatever led him to think that. Yeah, I'm sure there's something. There has to be. He says it wasn't the artifact that changed him, so that's who he was. Something up there, you know, finally got its,、uh, its wish. Something in his mind finally got its click to turn on. And he was able to,、uh, to kill, which I guess is something that somewhere deep inside he wanted to do. I, I don't know. But what is it? Oh. Oh. Truly the best medicine. I'm suddenly enveloped in a warm, soft sensation. Senpai's hugging me. Yeah, I mean, if you both are in agreement, it's all good. You know what? It's a nice scene. It's a little weird, but it's nice. I'm too taken aback to respond. Senpai's embrace is gentle. If I wanted to, I could easily shake her off. Despite how embarrassing this is, I don't feel like moving. Well, we are the main character. Senpai tightens her embrace. I can hear a faint thumping noise in my ears. It's her heartbeat. Not really. No, actually, I do not think she's exaggerating. In these few days here, like, she has definitely opened up a whole lot more. Her life is slowly changing. If it wasn't already because of the artifacts. <laughs> Smiling senpai pats my head. It's a little embarrassing, but at the same time, it's comforting. Senpai hugs me even tighter. It's getting kind of hard to breathe. However, it's also making me feel reassured. Hopefully, a little bit of a wake up, you know. Snap us back to our senses and shit. Pull us out of the mud. Damn, I had the complete wrong fucking impression of Kosuka this entire time. Throughout all of nine, I had the wrong fucking impression. I mean, wasn't it from the get go? Oh, thanks. Oh, oh lovely. Fantastic. <laughs> Somewhat reluctantly, I, I extricate myself from Senpai's warm embrace. I mean, that was a nice moment, don't get me wrong. And I truly stand by what I said after hearing all of that. Yeah, I had the wrong idea with Kosuka. 
And we will work on that. We can work on that. Oh, here we go. The moment she switches back, Senpai's face turns red. She starts waving her hands frantically through the air, a hodgepodge of emotions flashing across her face. No, 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 you're good, you're good. No, that shit fucking helped, I'm sure. なんだかその雰囲気に流されたというか。じゃあ流され着いたに。俺もいいですか。はい。俺たち友達って言えるほどお互いのこと知らないですけど。でも仲間です。大事な。一緒に強くなりましょう。I would have just said that, like, hey, we're friends now. Fuck the comrade See, that's good motivation, and that encourages her. Smiling, Senpai nods. It's then that she notices I'm holding my hand out to her. For a second, she looks at it blankly, but then she realizes the meaning behind the gesture. She reaches out to shake my hand and then suddenly draws back. After vigorously wiping her hands down on her skirt, she finally grabs mine. I give her hand a firm squeeze, and she smiles bashfully at me. Now kiss. Senpai shakes her hand up and down, and then suddenly realizes that she's still holding on to mine. Again, you're good. なんか安心します。すみません。恥ずかしい。本当、あの、恥ずかしい。俺もいつも言い方悪くてすみません。それじゃああまり遅くなる前に、駅に。Who the fuck is this? That voice kind of sounds familiar. Is this is this our instructor? Confused, the two of us turn and toward the direction of the voice. It is. A woman is standing a short distance away, where the street lamp's illumination does not reach. As she makes her way towards us, her silhouette gradually becomes more distinct. To my surprise, the owner of the voice is someone I recognize. Yeah, I was going to mention earlier whenever Kosuka and her other personality was like, Oh yeah, people passed us by. I was going to say, like, oh, our teacher probably did because, well, she lives in the area. Sensei. Well, that's weird. She looks different from normal. Her usual languid demeanor is gone, replaced by something much more disciplined. Also, what was with that question? She knows what our names are, and she never refers to me by my full name. Didn't she in episode two find out about our petrification? I step protectively in front of Senpai, who looks frightened by the drastic change in our teacher. She takes a few more steps towards us. It's only when she steps into the light that we notice. I, I don't, I'm not noticing shit, but our eyes go wide. Uh, okay. Okay, game. Just... <laughs> What is- does everybody have a fucking superpower all of a sudden? God damn it. I- I really didn't expect this one. Okay. This could be bad, but it could also be good. Hold on now. Why is she using a stigma? Is this just her fancy way of showing us like, Hey, I got a cool power too. Or are we in trouble? There's a stigma on her forehead. Okay. What's happening? What's going to happen? What? What is going on? Yeah, we were we we faded to white for far too long there. I feel like. Oh, oh, we get an opening. I kind of forgot. Yeah, wait, did we not get an opening yet? Even in the first few episodes I recorded, or the first few videos or whatever. Okay, you guys can't see this. Sorry. Okay, that was, a, that was a pretty good opening. 
I think I liked the episode two opening a little bit more, if I remember correctly. But no, this one was good. Um, yeah, so the stage is set, as we've, I guess, seen, obviously. Uh, we know who our enemies are, and our instructor seems to be taking the stage as well. I don't know in what sort of way, but I think we're going to finally find out what sort of involvement she has specifically, I guess in more detail than we originally thought in regards to all of this crazy shit coming from another universe or whatever stuff that's going on here because she has some connections or whatever with the shrine. So I guess that's uh, that's something that was heavily hinted at here in the opening. She was in some shrine garb of sorts so we might be uh we might be seeing something out of a of another character and that just makes things a whole lot more interesting i would say no the stage is set in episode three really does seem like it's gonna be uh quite the interesting one i had already i, I had thought that we've already seen an opening so far or maybe no i guess i guess we just haven't straight up i mean obviously we haven't but I was under the impression that we did. Did I already save? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I was already. I was under the impression we already did. Uh, the first few videos that I recorded uh, were before I finished my anonymous code let's play. So I kind of, you know, then focused on finishing that let's play, then jumped back into this. So there was like a, a mini hiatus. So I kind of forgot, you know, specific things that happened in the first few videos that weren't significant. And uh, I guess that's my bad. But no, I guess there there was no opening sequence that we saw then. But our prologue is now out of the way. We are now truly ready to jump into whatever episode 3 has in store for us. Again, the stage is set. I just like using that term. It's, uh, or that phrase. It's really cool. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that fancy jazz. Maybe one day when it comes to these... Uh, episodes here with nine i'll stop calling my videos episodes but i've already explained before you know i'm just confusing myself and probably nobody else but alrighty, i'll see you guys in the next one take it easy